Engineer 775, I wanted to uh, talk to you about a serious uh, situation. If the grid was down and you currently have a well, how are you going to get water out of that well if, uh, if the power's out? Now, there are different types of well setups that some wells make it easier than others. And uh, what am I talking about there? Well, the wells with the pitless adapters um, typically have a cover that's easily removed and you can uh, have access to your well that way. Other wells um, have top discharges, which makes it a lot more difficult because your existing submersible is hanging all the weight of the, the pump, the drop pipe, the water in the pipe, and the wires. Um, it's hanging off of the uh, well seal. So, but what if it, the grid was down, you had a well, and you just had to get water for you and your family, and you didn't want to go anyplace, you were sheltering in place. And you've got that well and it was driving you crazy because you know you've got you know five six hundred gallons of water in that casing how are you gonna get the water out well I want to show you something that uh, it's old school um, some people call them uh, galvanized water buckets uh, layman's has them uh, the uh, uh, some people call them uh, baler buckets that's what I'm calling this and uh, I'm going to show you the baler bucket and uh, a way to get water out of your well with just a rope and a and a contraption that you can make really inexpensively. Okay, I'm back. I hope you can see this. This is just a three inch PVC uh, pipe, Schedule 40, with some fittings and reducers to get it down and put a regular standard foot valve at the bottom. Um, I tied it off with uh, just regular nylon rope. I tied it off to this, uh, basically this drop cord reel. I'm gonna turn it around, hopefully you can see that. And I'm going to just drop it down the well. Oh, I just hit water, and that for me is about 25 feet. And now I'm going to let that tube fill up, and I'm down there, I'm fishing. I can feel it slowly going down. That check valve's take, letting the water in. There goes a, a big bubble of air. Okay, so she should be just about full. Let's see, she's full now. Okay. Now you can just pull this up by hand. I just put some rope on a this reel. Makes it a little bit easier. You don't have to do this. Plus, if you if the rope slips out of your hand or somebody knocks you down and <laughs> you don't want to lose your baler bucket, this thing won't fit through the casing. You just pull it up, and there's my baler bucket. Now that tube's full of water. Now I just had this well drilled, so I got a little bit of. Um, sediment left over from the rock being drilled but you can see the amount of water and it is a, a good gallon worth of water hope you saw that on video so and that's it just again this well is just recently drilled so there's some dust from the the drilling but once you get set up just let her let her go down to hit the water it's going to do two gallons A little fishing. I don't know if you can hear that. But big bubble there of air. Okay, I should have a full bale or bucket there. I'm just going to turn it around. I'm out of the water now. It's crude. But it works. And there you have the second gallon. Just set it down, grab a hold of it, and pour it in your bucket. And you get a good gallon of water. So that's pretty much it on the baler bucket.